Well, thank you for the warning. We've gotten so used to autosaving in games that I kind of took that for granted. Thank you, game, for reminding me. And now the game begins. Outer, outer sunset. You know your Crassula Ovada isn't doing very well. Is that my plant? Have you been <coughs> watering it? <laughs> I mean, I already assumed it was a plant. I mean, like, don't plants need lots of water? It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. I didn't think about that. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. Oh god. <laughs> plant's name was plant's name Wilty. I got it from a friend a couple months ago. <laughs> mildew, time to give the landlord another call. I have in fact already taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. Oh well shoot, thank you. Broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair. I am not confident he has a history of following through. Oh boy. I would suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a mesh search, and the man is a convicted felon <clears throat> for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Oh god, that's not what I needed to know. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe? Are you considering a bribe as an option? I will continue to formulate a stratagem. How thoughtful of them. The Crassula ovata, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. What does it say about me? They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. In that case, I should surround this house with them. Like, my actual house. Urban legend, but still a nice gift. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, what do you want me to do about the plant? I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. Oh god. Sure, tank, whatever you want. Excellent. The supply should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, uh, one other thing. Uh oh. When I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. <laughs> was that a pun? The belief? shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. It'll really pull the whole room together. You know, once we get the sink fixed. Oh boy. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. Well, we better go over there then. We should make our way to Stardust soon. I agree. The city map is updated with the location. Well then, best we get going. But first. <laughs> You're such a cute little plant, Wilty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> God, that sounds like me. That is totally... Yeah, that's me. Mm, with 
more of that, we'll surely be on the way to Lush Greenery in no time. God, that sounds like me. I'm horrible. Ah, uh, you just put like something cute in front of me. I'm like, oh, you're so cute. Oh my god, I want to pet you. Just put like, like uh, one of my friends posted up a, a picture of a baby of a baby puppy, and I'm like, a baby puppy. Uh, because you know, because puppies aren't babies already. I uh, have to have baby puppies. Um, but it was a baby, baby pit bull is what I was trying to say. I was like, ah, squishy face! So yeah, that's me. Running water might just make it worse. Did it just try to talk back? Ew. Alright, well I guess we can go. Ready to head out? Yeah, let's go. Okay. So there's okay. I was like, how do I how do I move? There we go. Wait, that's not what I want to do. Whoops. I can just go to the map, can't I? neon signs are telling the truth from the sounds of the music things are already underway at stardust even so early hopefully we can find tomcat inside and some answers all right well ooh, what's with the car the 26 to zcr coupe cr4 coupe perfect for letting everyone know you spent a fortune of credits on the car It almost look, looks meticulously handcrafted until you notice it's the exact same as the one, as the one on, front, on the front door. Oh, God. I'm surprised they're using a human bouncer instead of a ROM. That's a nice, authentic touch. <laughs> Welcome to Stardust. What is that? That was the open sign. It's open. The sign is on 24-7. Why have an open sign then? I guess unless you have to close for... Still doesn't make sense. By breaking down decaying material shed by the plants. It's a self-sustaining self ecosystem. I am such a geek for this stuff! Because it's completely sealed, water never leaves the system. If you watch closely, you can see the condensation roll off the top and back down to the soil. It's completely self-sustaining! You take a look inside the club. It's busy enough to feel like the place to be, but not so busy that you can't move. The door to Stardust is inviting. It looks packed. Well, let's head on in. Wait, these parting silhouettes are just painted on the window. Oh. Well, let's go in. Hold up there. Got ID? Yeah, here. Uh, here, look at my ID card. All right. Looks good to me. Can I go in now? Welcome to Stardust. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? <laughs> Can I actually? Looks like there's an arrow out there, so it looks like I'm able to move it, but I don't know how to move it. Maybe I can't yet until I actually answer. Um, I, if there were this for me, uh, it's I, I think the music would be the, most, the biggest annoyance, honestly. I don't mind the plays, I just the music is just kind of too eh. The driving bass has some interesting mathematical interactions with the chorus. The tempo is certainly geared towards exciting the human circulatory system. Okay, now the horns kicked in. Now it's actually pulling it together. I could learn to like it, but I agree. The volume is stressing my audio receptors. Anyway, where do you think we should start? <laughs> um, always the bar first. Good idea. Maybe the bar. Where to find Tomcat. Whoa, what was that? 
Did it glitch out for you guys too? That was just weird. What's the poster? Red World, an abstract indie flick premiering at the Castro Theater. You saw that too, right? Like it just kind of glitched out for a second there? So it wasn't just me. It was kind of cute there. There's a chair. It's not even a spinny chair. It only looks like one. Ah. Yeah, I kind of like glitched out on, on, in my headset too. So it. That was kind of weird. It kind of hurt my ears a little bit. It's not yours. Um. The gruff looking man holds down the bar. He seems friendly enough given his size. Morning, friend. What can I do for you? <laughs> he does the blingy smile. Like a drink, please. What are you having? Hmm. Core appeal. Legs and cream, has these spikes, Sazerac. There are a lot of options here. <laughs> First shoot ever. <laughs> Have an IDK. Alright, alright. Um, I'm sorry. I know I did not put up any sort of mature warning on this, because I didn't know there was gonna be my language or that kind of language. Bush flower, whiskey, green tea. It just tastes like orange. Does it just randomly generate these until I go through? Whiskey Rita, Michelada, Master, more. PT, Bears, Winter, Teeny, Ingredients, and Ratios. Power Play, Sickly Skies. <laughs> Most Sugar Rush. How many more of these are there gonna be? Like the, the, the Natasha Allegri? <laughs> The Tokyo Tea. Oh! Oh, I would totally down a Tokyo Tea, actually. Uh, the Sober Chauffeur. The Rusty Nail, Clumsy Belarusian. That's Connie. Yeah, and some of these are actual drinks, mind you. A few of these are actual drinks. Then Svenska Bjornstammen. Was there a Scotch Drop and Roll? Boy, Groggy Nog. Okay, I'm just gonna go through these until it actually. Okay, it's going back to beer again, looks like. Okay, yeah, so it's cycle through. So, either. It's really either the Sazerac or the, or the Tokyo Tea for me. I think I'm gonna go to my, my second favorite, which would be the Tokyo Tea. One more, you got back to it. Anytime now. Jesus. Good lord. There we go. Get my Tokyo tea. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in there? Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says. You're missing the sprite. We're the Seven Up. I I didn't sling bar at one point in my life. Really, I didn't. But it's right! I mean, Melody Cure with vodka rum, tequila gin, and triple sec. Um, yeah. Throne on Woodson, Spider 7 Up, and Top of Melody Cure. You are correct, Drink Canary, if you didn't miss that one ingredient. The big one! Does that sound good? Maybe something else. Like what? Let's see if you actually get the, the Sazerac right. Actually, I'm curious. I might have to go out of the stream one, one of these days. See if I can backtrack to this point and see how many of these I, I because I don't recognize a lot of them honestly. So I'm really curious. Like the Cure Royale is real, the Sazerac I know is real, the Tokyo Tea, and a few other ones. But there's some in here, and I'm like, what is that? So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in there? 
Drinktionary, the open alcoholopedia says. It has that right too. You know what? Let's go for it. Does because good? I haven't had a Sazerac in a while, actually. Ah, all right, you got it. Coming right up. Sazerac! Now, what is it you need to know? I'm meeting a Tomcat. Do you know where they are? I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier. I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. What about you? What's your story, bruh? Oh, <laughs> I should introduce myself. The name's Majid. I've been the bartender of Stardust for a few years now. But I've owned it a little longer than that. So, what do you want to know? I right, before Stardust. Mostly got myself into trouble. When I immigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable. Ah, oh, you're Pakistani. Very nice. But I'm real big, which was enough to get hired for some real dirty stuff. Bodyguard work. Truth be told, I hated the work. I didn't want to be a hired fist my whole life. I wanted something regular, peaceful. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. Oh, so you own the place. I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. <laughs> um. But let's say Stardust is forever. I worked at a flash in a pan nightclub. I know how those things go. That's true, and it was true about Stardust. The first six months were great. But after that, the interest dried up and the kids moved on to the next big thing. But I guess I'm just stubborn and kept throwing good money after bad. Ha! Huh. Huh. After two years in a remodel, things started to pick back up again. We slowly dug ourselves out of the debt hole. Awesome. We got some regulars around. They started bringing in enough new folks and it reached critical mass pretty quick. Oh, I don't know if I want to toss that name around. Hey, it's a scientist guy does some kind of computer research at Parallax. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. Our place doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. Go figure. I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta get back to work. I'll keep an eye out for Tomcat and send them your way if I see them. Good luck. Enjoy yourself. And don't be a stranger. What's <laughs> up, Bling? All right then. Oops, on Christmas. I've saved the location to my memory. Let's check it out after the investigation. It's supposed to be for a new art exhibit at New Drive in the Fillmore District. Scrap Rain, a new single by Zazen. Sponsored by Arena Box. It's for Ben Zazen. One of the most, one of the more popular live acts here in the city. Okay, well, I think I've looked at everything. I'm guessing I already have my drink, so I'm just gonna go over here. Hmm. Brad Dancer. So, K Cabinet, Mega Phobator. Only the most, only the most ghost shootingest, ghoul blastingest fun you'll have at the side of the bay. Can I actually use it? Wait, can I actually play this? Oh, I can actually play this. That's sweet. Oh my god. 
I can totally throw it on this. I can do this. I got this. Ah. Okay. Trick is going to be going back to the center every so often. Just to make sure I'm okay. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Ooh, okay. Hooray, you survived. Those ghosts will think twice before messing with you again. Good thing, too. <laughs> This punk doesn't look too into what they're playing. Hands up the joystick, buzzer. Actually, I meant to talk, not touch. I take it back for tour. Heard the machine was donated to start us recently. It's been having problems since it got here. Something doesn't seem right once you get to the boss, you know? All right, we'll deal with that later. I'm guessing you must, your question was, so you must, and you have a profile picture. So you must be Tomcat. Come and stand at the drink table. Probably people watching. Yes, can I help you? Who is somebody named Tomcat? Do you know where they are? Or are you Tomcat? Mmm. And with the ears and everything, it would be easy to assume, but. Not at the moment. They're usually close enough to hear when their name gets dropped. So if that's all you needed from me, I'll get back to cutie cruising. And no, that wasn't an invitation to flirt. <laughs> um, I mean, I could just say straight out wasn't going to or got a good luck. When someone named Tom can't be a cutie to you. Uh, I don't know if that'd be, like, insulting, but also, I guess I suppose I can name drop still. Oh, really? Why, pray tell? I, okay, that, that actually would be true. I don't know why I said that. this once. You want to talk about the hybrid thing? Cool. No one's trying to hide it. And you won't have an easy time avoiding it at this club. But jokes, puns, and worse, assumptions? That will get you blacklisted fast. We don't all have the energy to handhold genotypical people who can't spare 10 seconds to pull out their ROM and look things up. If you try to pet me, your arm is coming off. Okay, I'm not gonna try to bait you. I mean, be clear. Sorry, did you say genotypical? Yeah, as in not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. Yeah, all right, whatever. Just get moving. Hi there. I heard you were looking for me. Oh, you're a Tomcat. Yours truly, though. Although, well, I don't like the attention. It'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. I do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? Oh boy. Nah, you're fine. Jess is just a my prickly pear on the outside. She'd probably give hell to most strange folks she hasn't made a deal with. <laughs> so, to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, time to ask the big question. Listen. Well, it's one 
way to sour my night. I already saw you got his little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Do you know about me? Hayden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lips OS dance to my tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Oh boy. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Huh. Well, what do we know about you? Oh, sure. You might have even heard of me in the news way back when. About ten years ago, I hacked into Parallax's main ROM servers. Ooh, caused one hell of a stink, if I do say so myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or malicious criminal. I earned myself an enforced net blackout for a few years, but I think it was worth it for the prestige. <laughs> That's great. So, which was a kid genius or malicious criminal? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything, but I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. I chalk it up to the exuberance of youth, and now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. Mostly. Sometimes. <laughs> well played. Well played. <laughs> oh. Oh my kid. Sometimes I treat this place like it's my own little bat cave. <laughs> so curiosity. Well, to see if I could. I mean, parallax is a mighty big target. Bigger than the government. Um do I even want to insult you by asking about your accent? You seem like you you take everything in stride. Probably North Carolina, dog. Or it's not the glitziest tan in the world, but folks like the way the sun goes down. I love these characters. Like the characters in the game are fairly well rounded in terms of like a little bit, of, little bits of backstory. You know, the bartender from Pakistan, the, the hacker from North Carolina. It's it's kind of cool. Still, this ain't a bad town for a southern girl. Lots of clothes. I had to get a third walk-in closet. <laughs> I mean. Now comes the... Now comes this question, really. Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lips. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most uh, straightforward kind of man. <laughs> Tell me more about his work. Oh, it's a powerful OS. And it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. <laughs> for the sake of um, the viewers, Yes, could you explain it like I'm a child? Because I totally understand everything. That's just a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs within range. And they share all files the user hasn't tagged as private. Yeah, so like a walking digital, uh, kind of a walking cloud network. It's handy in dense population areas like Neo FCF since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mostly that little bot you got there. Whoa, 
Oh, I'm, I'm sure he had his finger in lots of pies, but turn is all I knew about. So, why did he go missing? hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax found out about it somehow, ooh, that might have changed things. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. Oh. <laughs> I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him. He would just get fired, maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Ooh, do 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 do. Well, I have a chance to. I'm going safe. I'm gonna name this one. Stay. There we go. Okay, I need to center it before I do that. There we go. Okay, center it. Ah, he likes to stray. You know what? Oh, that's all? That's all I get? Really? Fine, I'll just call it Sammy. Fine! I think I might as well save it here just in case. Cause things are getting a little hairy it seems like. I don't want to tangle with Jess. I really don't. So how do we find Hayden? Yeah, not real sure, huh? But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Well, somebody did. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? <clears throat> oh, there's a problem with that. We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being banished. If Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing. Best to get all the clues we can find. The data cache would be the best place to start. But how do we get into the computer? Good luck. Turn, you you keep out of trouble. <laughs> I guess I'll try to talk to her again. I saw you found Tomcat. What else do you want from me? Not after all that. I will be chill once you leave. Okay. Well, I guess I can go now, jeez. What are you having? Okay, only because I'm curious. I gotta know what goes into a Natasha Allegri. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? I mean, she's an animator. That's really a thing? It's a cup of chocolate milk and two shots of Everclear? Does that sound good? I... No? Like what? I know it goes into a rusty nail. Huh. 
Sensory Michelada. Sour Patina, of course. What's ingredients ratios? I gotta know. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in there? Drinktionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Really? Two parts white rum, three parts chilled ginseng tea, and a part one part lime juice. That actually sounds pretty good. I gotta admit, I'm I'm guessing it I'm guessing it's shaken up. Does that sound good? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Ah, all right, you got it. Coming right up. Okay, and I am out. But first, I'll be right back. Give me just a moment or two. 